Hey guys, it's Eddie, and I want to welcome you to my brand new YouTube channel here. This is called the Scenic Explorer. And basically, I'm just diving into the RV lifestyle right now. And as I learn all the tips and tricks, make some mistakes, talk about the type of rig that we wanted and all the thoughts that went into it, I thought that maybe we could share them with you and help the RV community. Now, as we were going through the process of picking out the rig that was best for us, I watched hundreds of YouTube videos and I went and saw quite a few actual coaches in real life. And ultimately that's why we landed on Leisure Travel Vans as the company that we wanted to get a coach through. So that's why we picked the 2020 Wonder rear twin bed, which also is on the 2020 Transit chassis. Uh, we actually thought it was going to be a 2021, but when it came in, it was a 2020 model year leisure travel van on a 2020 transit chassis. I'll get into that a little bit more in a future video, but I just wanted to start with you there. This is not the 2020 Wonder rear twin bed that leisure travel van has a video out on. This is very similar, just on the 2020 gas transit chassis. Now I took video of when I went through the official walkthrough process with my dealer when I took delivery. And when I was recording it, I didn't really think that I would be posting this on YouTube or creating a channel from it. So the production quality is not the greatest. The audio quality is not the greatest. Uh, ultimately, I did it because I wanted to be able to go back and reference it if I had questions in the future. But there was actually quite the demand from the Leisure Travel Vans Enthusiast Facebook forum. So I thought, why not put this video out? I promise you that videos in the future are gonna be done with much better production quality. I'm very excited to be part of the Leisure Travel Van family, and I can already tell with the responses I've been getting through the Facebook forum that this is gonna be an amazing community to be a part of. Great knowledge sharing, very supportive words. So I hope you enjoy the walkthrough of the 2020 Leisure Travel Van Wonder Rear Twin Bed on the 2020 Ford Transit gas chassis. Um, so uh, we'll start on the outside, we'll go around it, and then we'll work our way inside. All right. Uh, so starting right over here, uh, we have our uh, Truma hot, uh, hot water heater. Yeah. Um, as far as what you'll be doing with the outside here, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just have your on-off here. Uh, you have your uh, basically like a pressure release type deal. Uh, anytime you're filling it up, you just want to make sure that you have this open okay. until you have water coming out, and then you just snap it down. Uh, you want to make sure that the water is going through the lines before you have it on. That way it's not building up pressure and it's just pressurizing that air. Okay. Uh, right here, which we have water in it right now, um, right here all you do is just raise it up, pull it back, and there's a little uh, filter plug ordeal basically. Uh, after we're done with the walkthrough, uh, we'll come back through and I'll show you that okay. as far as that goes and we'll let the water out of the system. Sounds good. Man. Um, but as far as, you know, anything that you'll be doing inside that so Am I ever going to have to do anything with that besides if I, like, winterize or anything? Um, no, just if, you know, the only reason you'd be messing with that is just if you're wanting to empty the system. Okay. You know, just get all the water out of it. All right, gotcha. Yeah, uh, here's your, uh, um, your furnace vent. Yep. Uh, if you ever were to uh, turn the furnace on and you feel like it might not be kicking on, uh, just come outside and you know, you'll feel heat from, coming from it instantly the moment you turn it on. Gotcha, okay. Uh, which you'll also be able to hear clicking as well when it's trying to ignite. Right down here we have our sewer hose compartment, uh, which is pretty neat. Speak a slinky in there? Yep. yep. Okay. And it just slides right back in there, which we can go ahead and size up too. It's simple as far as the way it clicks on there. Which is cool too that they have this adapter on there. Yeah it's clear too so you can see it. Yeah okay. yeah make sure it's not clogged up in there. Uh, on your left side here is for your black tank. You okay. just pull that valve out and that'll flush your black tank. Uh, the right side here is for your gray tank which okay. is just your sink water, shower water, yep. you know, all that. And then when we come back here we'll slide it back yep. in there. Yeah sounds good. Uh, right down here. And this just closes yeah. around that? Yeah, it okay. just closes right up in there and then and it shuts like that. Okay. And then that's just for running the hose down through so you can close the compartment door if you'd like to. Okay. Uh, say if you're set up at a campsite somewhere and you don't want to leave this open, you know, and have to deal with taking it on and off, so you can just run it straight out the bottom there. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, right here you have your valve for your normal flow and then winterize. Okay. Right over here beside it you have your outside shower. 
Yeah. And this is also uh, serves as your low point drain as well. So. Awesome. And then anytime you know you're draining the system uh, completely, you would just use this as like that's said, the low point. Low point. Okay. Uh, and now you know that's going to flush all the water out of the system. Uh, right here is your city water connection. Um, plus, it's also your, you know, your tank fill. Yeah. Uh, you do have another valve right up in here. Uh, right now, it's set on normal in the city water. Uh, if we wanted to do tank fill only, you would just turn it over. And okay. Be filling so, your fresh water tank. so if it's on normal and city fill, it is it actually filling the tank and charging the lines, or is it just going no, through just the water? Charging line. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. And now, if if you're not connected to city water and you just filled up the fresh tank, uh, you still have to, you know, flip that over yep. in order to run through the lines. Okay. Uh, right over here, we have a uh, we have a switch for our water pump. Um, you also have it on the inside as well. Okay. Um, so you know, if you're hooked up to city water, you don't have to worry about using the water pump. But if you're, uh, in, say, dry camping, you know, you just put the water pump on, and that's going to pull through your fresh water. Yeah. Uh, you have a uh, propane on/off switch. Okay. Uh, right now we have it turned on. Uh, all you gotta do is just flip it off there, and that cuts your propane supply off everything and inside it's really the coach. Great. Next to that, we have our satellite and antenna uh, hook up. Okay. Uh, so whenever you're at the campsite or at home, you know, and you want to run satellite through it, you would just hook up there. Gotcha. And then that's going to run into your uh, your HDMI matrix inside. Okay. Uh, there's for your black tank flush. Okay. So and, and, and is that vented? Is that? Yeah, that's just got a little bit for right there. Okay, gotcha. And then right above that is the propane fill station which uh, I'm sure you probably don't have to worry much about that. You're taking it somewhere to get it filled. They know what to do. Yeah, that's just your uh, your fill valve there. Okay. And then, you know. And where is the tank? Is it directly behind that? Or? Uh, yeah, it's right, right up right behind that. Gotcha, there. okay. Uh, and then right here is just, uh, just like a little compartment space for you. Yeah. Um, right down below it, this is actually the exhaust for your generator. Generator. Even though okay. the generator's on the other side, they have the exhaust running on the left here. Okay. And then uh, for all your compartment doors, you have this 751 key. And okay. That's going to be for all the compartment doors. Gotcha. All right. All right. So uh, here we have our uh, 110 30 amp uh, mm -hmm. sure cord. Um, when we go to close it up, I'll show you as far as twisting that off and everything. Uh, it is nice, it being a 30 amp, because you can get the adapter uh, that plugs in there and you can plug it into like a house receptacle. Yeah. Uh, and you'll still be able to run everything. Okay. Uh, back here we have. Are. Is that the two AGM batteries? Yep. And so they're two see. six volts, right? Oh, on this one, or is it? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two six so, so they're running. Uh, uh, they'd be run, series. Yeah. So okay. you're getting uh, you're getting 12 volts, but then you're getting the uh, yeah the amperage. Uh, you have a little quick access compartment in there. That's pretty cool. And then oh, and that goes right into the inside. Yep. And then on the inside there, you, when you raise up the bed, it comes down into that compartment. Nice, man. And then you also have your little racks yeah. there. That's a good spot for, say, like a short cord or maybe a water hose. This um, is insane. I mean, look how much storage there is. Oh, yeah, thing. it is. It is. It's impressive. It's yeah. definitely it's, it's something else. Uh, if you run the back, you have your, your receiver there. Yeah, I think it's a... do, like, a bicycle rack yeah, or... Yeah, because it's, what, 200-pound um, hitch weight, 2,000-pound towing capacity, right? Uh, some, somewhere in there. Yeah, okay. There. That's what I... That's what I thought. So, um, yeah, I know uh, it has the uh, like the, the chassis manual and all that on the inside as well. So, yeah, you know, um, right off the bat. Okay, I, I believe it's somewhere around there. But and, and I want to check the OCCC rating when we get to that too, because I forgot how much it is. Okay. Yeah. Slide out rack as well. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And then it just locks in there. Press that little clip now. Okay. And then you have another rack right over here and another quick access compartment. Cool. Now for the lights on the inside here, uh, in order to uh, turn them off, uh, you have to go off the panel on the inside. Okay. But you do have the, uh, the awning control. Oh, here. okay. So yeah, yeah, so you can run the awning in and out. That's kind of strange. My guess is, is they did it, you know, since you can't have the door open. Right. Running the awning in and out. So, oh. Uh, yeah, that was my guess on it. 
Uh, speaking of which, you can do the awning two separate ways. You can either latch it in. Yeah. Like, you can either latch it in here. Oh, I see his little notch, okay. Yeah, you got that little. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. There we go. I'm glad I got that in video because I guarantee the first time I use it, I'm going to be like, what the heck, man? Why would it go in? Yeah. Yeah. There's it, it like so many little steps. Yeah. Yeah. automatic you have to hold it yeah on this okay. one you have to hold it how lazy are we that that's like <laughs> those always kind of freak me out a little bit too the ones that you just press the button and it takes off yeah sometimes i'll forget about it and i'll hit it and it takes off and i don't realize what's going on you know look outside the awning's still going right on the outside here okay uh, so if you wanted to do like a little electric you know grill or maybe even a tv or such uh you can plug it in right there uh the reset for it is going to be on the inside okay uh, they'll have one reset for all the gfci's in the coach uh, okay it's usually in the bathroom i believe on this one it's in the bathroom as well uh, right down here we have our own engine generator and that's a gas one right that's fed in from our gas the same gas tank as the engine Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it just, you know, you get your service panel here that pops off. Uh, if you wanted to check the oil, uh, your oil dipstick's there. Uh, you have your air filter right behind here. Um, you can also start it out, you know, start it up on the outside here. Just hold it back, prime it. Let it prime for a second. Okay. You're plugged into shore power and you run the generator is it all is it always gonna automatically switch to generator power uh it's going to uh it's gonna switch over and uh choose whichever is the more sufficient supply. gotcha so okay if the generator's putting out more than what you know your shore power is and it's gonna switch over to that okay um otherwise you know it'll stick to your but, shore power. but i can't i can't hurt anything if i am plugged into shore power and i fire it on right okay cool um you also have your uh little lp Quick. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. Well. See if I want to put a grill out here. Mm -hmm. So you can right there. Uh, anytime that you are running the generator, though, uh, say for whatever reason you're down here, you know, servicing it, um, don't let it run for long without this cover on the front of it. Uh, you don't want that hot air circulation going through. Uh, it can cause damage. Just, just make sure you get your front panel on there. And then it just latches down like that. Cool. All right. Right up above it here, we have our two uh, 
bridge band. Say if it's having issues lighting on propane, um, you can take this little door off here, and uh, you can see your flue tube and all that up in there. So you can, you know, take like a uh, uh, air chunk and just, you know, blow it out real good, get any dust and debris and things like that out of it. Cool. So this one's gasoline. Uh, it's just 3.5 liter. Yeah. Uh, you got you know your oil fill, your dipsticks back there. Uh, you got your coolant there. Uh, washer fluid. Um, just basic setup. Get the fuses here. And uh, what is there a certain grade of uh, gas that I need for this? Um, does it require premium? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does require premium. Okay. Yeah, I would say it requires premium. They okay. should have it on the uh, on that chassis manual. I like that easy feel as well, where you just pop it open, stick it down in there, and then you're good to go. Yeah. All right, we'll work our way inside now. Okay. So first coming up, you have your battery disconnect. Uh, anytime you know you're putting it up in storage and such, uh, you just flip that up, and that's okay. going to cut off all your 12 volt power. You have a little bit of storage up under here along with your uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, your first panel here, you have a step override. Okay. Uh, so that way the step will stay out when you close the door and such. Camping mode, is that what they call that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Much, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and then, you know, right now it's on. Let's flip it off. Uh, you have your light panel here. You have master light. light on. And you go through each one there. Okay. There's your baggage. That's like uh, okay. Like in the back. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, ceiling overhead, accent, all that good stuff. Cool. Okay. All right. Here we have our uh, our Plexi monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go to the home page. Uh, so there's like quick access to your lights. You get your porch and your awning there. Uh, you do have a master. Okay. For your lights. Uh, right here is telling you what you have in each one of your tanks. Uh, right now we're at 35% in the fresh, uh, empty and gray, empty yeah. black, and then your LP is 39. Okay. Uh, you also have a switch for your water pump. And the water pump really only kicks on once it once you open a valve and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just as long as you have it yeah. turned on there, yeah, it'll kick on whenever you turn, you know, like one of the sinks on and such. Uh, showing you. Uh, what the temperature set to, what the temperature is in the coach. Uh, it's got your batteries going here. Uh, right now the house is at 13.7, chassis is at 12.5. Uh, got like a quick start for your generator. Mm -hmm. uh, now to our lights. And this is the auto options. start options too, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you can set it up uh, and it, it's got a ton of features as yeah. well. So, you know, you can have it set uh, where it'll start up at 11.5 volts, uh, you know, charge for a certain amount of time or stop at 14 volts you can set you know a certain time of day you'd like it to start and stop okay uh, i mean that is a really cool feature so that way you don't have to worry as much as far as you know you're right. better it down. uh to our temperature here uh we got your ac controls uh this air conditioner does have a heat pump in it so okay. you can flip it over to the heat pump and it'll come you know straight out from the top there where you have your furnace if getting serious about it you really want to get it you know going in here okay go ahead and I'll put that on for just a second that way you can hear it start up yeah so you can already hear 
already feel the fan just kicked on because I'm taking a few seconds. Okay, so one thermostat to control it all, then it looks like. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. you got that one panel to control everything. Nice. Uh, kick that on high, too. There we go. Uh, so, down here in your settings, uh, it shows you your floor plan that you got going on. You can change it Fahrenheit, Celsius. Uh, you got your cleaning mode. It's basically just like a, a refresh, restart type deal. Uh, just get it there, and it takes it, you know, 15 seconds, and it'll go back to the home screen. Okay. Um, yeah, it's warm. Want to shut this or? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to, yeah. So I noticed a little something right here. It's like there's a little bit of adhesive that's kind of. Oh, yeah. I wonder it if we kinda... can get that cleaned up there. Yep. Looks like it's kind of. Yeah. It's stuck right there, and this. Okay. Yeah, we can get that. That's fine. Yep. Uh, you have your screen brightness. Okay. Auto dimming. So auto dimming is that where it just comes up? Like if you don't touch it for 10 seconds, it shuts off. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll yeah. Cool. Dim down uh, as far as that goes. Okay, let's see what else we got going on the next step. Oh, uh, you have storage underneath here. And, I'll show you and, and so, so that that can pull out of there though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just nice. Gotcha. Out. Nice man. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, right behind you, uh, we have. The panel for our inverter and tracks right watt, now right yes okay so uh it's showing us that right now we're hooked up to shore power uh which also showing you right there okay. showing the bypass going to our load uh, and also showing you that it's charging as well uh anytime that uh your battery light is lit up there uh that's letting you know that the inverter is working gotcha and, you know and you do have ac power uh, and then, you know, that bottom one is for, uh, if there's an air going on, okay. uh, it'll start flashing and it'll show you the fault code and then, you know, you, you got the manual there that shows you everything going on. So is the only thing that's not run off the inverter in here is the AC? Everything else is? Yeah, everything okay. else will run off of it. So you can run your microwave, your cool. TVs, all that stuff. Good, good. Um, right beside it, we have our uh, Truma. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have your uh, basic, um, uh, basic heat mode right there. Uh, right up above it, you have your eco, okay. uh, so it's not pulling quite as much. Um, down below it, it's basically like a uh, like uh, like an antifreeze type ordeal where when you winterize the system, it'll you know keep it from freezing up the lines. Uh, and then on the bottom, you have a cleaning setting there. Okay. Which I believe uh, I could be wrong. I believe it's 30 seconds. Once you set it on the clean, after 30 seconds, you you know you can't adjust it. Back. You have to let it do its whole process. Uh, otherwise, it'll cause it to like get confused and such um i'm trying to think i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure on the exact cleaning time as well okay. uh, which all that's in the manual you know, we can sure you know we right beside it you have your uh, uh your solar charging panel as well okay so that's going to show you everything that's going on do you, um, do you know what the maximum wattage this one will handle if i do want to add solar um that's or would that be in the manual you think yeah yeah, okay. yeah i would say it's in the manual okay uh, i'm yeah i'm 100 sure as okay. far as that goes So that's just going to go through and show you uh, it's battery at 100%. charge, and then yeah, which of course right now we're covered up. Right. Um, and then you can also download the app there and yeah. add Bluetooth to it, and you know, cool. get more into it as far as that goes. And all the cabinets in here. Okay, so that beautiful. Oh yeah, it is. It this is, is this is unbelievably beautiful. I can't believe it. You also have your own shape here as well. Okay. So that gives you that privacy there. Cool. Well, it's got a little magnet there too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just magnetizes. I mean, look, like lit handle. Come on, who does that? Who does? I know, I know. This right. is insane. <laughs> I know these things. These things are nice. Yeah. These things are very nice. Uh, you also have your little shade here at okay. the front, so it just you know snaps on going around all your windows. Oh, okay. So so we want to keep the the full um, seat swivel. It can run around the backside. Of it, yeah, right? yeah. Okay. It just runs around the backside. Of nice. Yeah. All right. So that way, if you wanted to spin them around, yeah. have some privacy and maybe some breakfast right here. Sure. You know, you'd be good to go. Okay. Yeah, you can lift those up. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, it just kind of gives you a view of your compartment down there. Same with this side, only this side is where we have all of our electrical stuff going on. So you got your converter down here as well. 
you have all your breakers right up in here, and then uh, all your fuses. Okay. Right, all the 12 volt stuff will be so right in that slot. Solar controller, is that what that blue, that's what the blue yeah, is, yeah, right? that's your solar controller. Yeah. And then uh, transfer switch or whatever it's called. Yep. Okay. Right back there in the back corner. Because the inverter's back here, isn't it? Yes, okay. under the bed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like they don't even put the, uh, like you normally have like the, the basic black padding on the bottom of your cushions and stuff. They just do the whole thing like that. And the ultra leather too. Yeah, these coaches are the same. And that's automatically piped into here? Yes. Okay. And then also you have your, you know, your Sony Blu-ray player okay. as well. Uh, and this part here, no, it's just strictly storage. Okay. The same with this guy over here. Yeah, I like the accent lights going around. Yeah. There. That's, that's something else. Uh, you do have your little skylight here, which will also pop open. It to what I'll lock it in there. Lock it down. Pop it back up. And then it just snaps right back in. And you okay. Have that one button there. Uh, you also have privacy. Yep. Or you can leave it open and right. keep the bugs out. Nice. Okay. Uh, Isn't um up up here? Don't they have the um. Up it behind oh, yeah, there. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say yeah, I, I, yeah, I thought yeah, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. No, they keep it hidden. It took me a minute to find that earlier. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So you have your entertainment receptacle. Okay. Uh, your uh, coax hookups. Okay. Uh, and then your uh, matrix and Sony player is plugged in Power. there. Okay. Cool. But yeah, that's that's yeah. that's cool. Uh, as far as starting your stove top up here. Okay. Just hold it down there where your little light is, and then you can adjust it afterwards. Cool. It takes out some heat. Yeah, it does. Oh. Just a sec. Okay. And then we have that on. Do you recommend having the fans going? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I would have the vents going. Just in case, you know, yeah. uh, for one, you know, you got the heat coming off of it and the view. But also, if you were to burn something, then it's just going to suck it right out okay. rather than the place up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You also have your, your little quick disconnect set. Oh, right nice. There as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then a uh, Allen wrench. Okay. I still I wasn't able to find exactly what uh, the Allen wrench goes to. I don't know if somebody dropped it in there because uh, it looks you know like it's been used before that's but, so funny yeah i'm, I'm not real sure right. uh, yeah. is going out deep all right i like it take off the sink over here you got cold water there which right now we're running off city water uh, okay. here in a minute i'll go out there and shut that off and show you that the water pump works okay is that going through the truma yeah it's going through the truma right now Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, they also gave you a little, um, like auxiliary cable there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all in, in here is going to be all your, your manuals and such. Okay. Uh, you, you got like the Onan CD there that goes over everything. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's got everything. Woo. Yeah. Is the one cool thing right about it is, is you know, yeah, they got everything in here and it's all detailed. Okay. So cool. Uh, we got a TV remote here. Okay. Put that bad boy on. Then you got your remote for your JBL uh, sound bar there. Uh, it's for the Sony. Oh no, so you got some painting going on. Cool. 
That's all we're gonna watch anytime we're in here is painting. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, soundbar. Cool. You got all your. Yeah. As far as that goes, like your Bluetooth and such. Sounds really good, dude. Does it? Oh yeah. Cool. That's cool. They put Galley. that there too. Yep, got another water pump. Uh, so there's your main GFC I reset. Okay, so if any of the other ones that are on that, yeah, that's where I go. Flip, that's where you're gonna have to go to, to reset it. Usually cool. it's in the bathroom, uh, but this one they have it right there in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, I like that that stainless back splash. Yeah, it looks nice, man. What's um? I just want to see. Is oh, this... oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. About that, you have your trash can there. You also have all of your. Uh, oh, that makes it nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah, it's perfect thing. size too. That way you can fit it. Oh yeah, small yeah. places. And you can also pop it out. And it so smart. Yeah. Uh, you also have all your uh, valves for your water connections back there. Okay. Uh, there's your water pump. Um, if you're doing like the uh, winterization and such, uh, there is a valve back there, uh, which you'll see it coming out of your Truma and it goes right to a white hose. Okay. And that hose goes straight down out of the coach. So you just turn that and that'll shoot all the water uh, throughout the system there. Gotcha. Cool. That's, that's yeah, nice I love that, man. Lock it down like that. Uh, we got our yeah. fridge here. Got it nice and cold. Oh, yeah, there we go. Which right now we got it running on shore power. I did okay. have it running on propane earlier. Okay. Uh, just going through and make sure everything worked. And, you, and you, you can set it to auto, right? Yeah, you can set okay. it to auto. Just click the button and rotate it to scroll through. Gotcha. Yeah, sweet. All right, that's great. So auto just prioritizes shore power, then generator, then 110, then 12, then LP? Yeah. Okay. And then you can set your, you know, cooling settings there, how cold you want it. All right. Uh, go down there, you set your, like your light, how bright you want it, uh, fan, the sound there, whether if you want it beeping and going off. Gotcha. All that good stuff. Cool. All right. And then this opens two ways, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. that, man. I know. That's, that's crazy, right? So cool. Uh, your convection. Yeah top and then can, so that that can stay in there running convection or microwave right mm -hmm. okay cool i didn't want to fry it the first time i used it <laughs> all right yeah that would be this. good okay cool uh, let's see would it be oh, easier okay, for yeah, me yeah, to yeah, pop yeah. back behind you yeah, there so then, it, yeah yeah that's so nice man to be able to have like two separate areas you know oh yeah it is okay yep yeah. This way, don't I? Uh, you got your toilet there. That it's crazy the fact that the the toilet has got its own little you know buttons there. The macerator like, toilet. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's like normally you have you know just right. your, your push down. Uh, so you hold your the button that's closest to the wall in to fill the tank. And then, All right. That gets it done. That's great, man. Less odor in here too, because I know that sometimes on the non macerated toilets, if you have a fan going when you flush, yeah, it's not pleasant. Yeah, it's not. It really isn't. Same with like dumping them too. Yeah. Oh God, it's, it's horrible. Uh, yeah, storage compartment there. Got our fan going here. You can set the uh, 
to put the temperature set on okay. it. Okay. Uh, your fan speed setting. And then it automatically comes down. Nice. Uh, get the light for your fastening there, and then another water pump button, of course. Yeah. Oh, I like this as well. Yeah. That snaps off and goes back. Privacy. Oh, yeah. Uh, already comes with a couple little glasses there, so you can, you know, wrench your mouth out. Uh, I imagine that's maybe like a, a toothbrush yeah. holder. Yeah. Oh wow, it's storage down there. Too. Storage down there. Toilet paper holder. So it comes with a water pressure regulator. Uh, you really don't want anything over, say, like 60 psi sure. right through the line. So you know, keep it busted. And that comes with it? It comes with a storage. Okay. Kit. It's funny, I just bought one on Amazon too. Oh yeah? Yeah, but hey, if I can return it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it comes with that. Okay. So, yeah, that's cool. always one thing that I, I point out and stuff because you never know going around to these right. parts and stuff. And okay. That's lots of things that I loved about this is the freaking the storage underneath mm -hmm. is insane. Oh it is, it is, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, how much higher does that go? Yeah it goes up pretty good. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And then yeah I mean you can you can hang your clothes up there. I mean yeah. that, that's crazy. Tons of storage in here which is insane. And then you also have a little holder there for that uh, table stand up front there. It's oh. got a little clip on that you just pop it on down there. Okay. So it holds it in place and keeps it from sliding around and stuff. When you're does going the table also fit in there too to store? Uh, or no, is the table actually side? goes right here. Gotcha. Okay. Man, that's insane how much, I, I knew it was gonna feel big, but that's even bigger than I thought it was. That's oh, yeah. insane. Yeah. Yes, it is, it's massive. So to drop that, what do you do? Just lift and drop, okay. Nice. And you got your yeah. inverter right up under here. Okay. And then uh, that's where those little, you know, little cubbies yep. that are in the back apartment. That's, uh, that's where they're popping into right there for that okay. quick access. Nice. And then for the table, yeah, okay, I was thinking, it does have the little snap button there. Okay. So that way it holds it in place. Gotcha. All right. And then this also folds out over. Okay. So if you want, you know, like a, a yep. more, yeah, more bed space going on. Uh, for these, I like the way that they have these because you know when you turn them, you can only turn so far. Right. Uh, so you just push down on the button there and turn rotate. It. Yeah. yeah. So it just rotates it for you. Then you can loosen it up. 
These lagoon tables are nice, man. Yeah, they are. But yeah, once it folds out and stuff, I mean, you got some pretty good, you know, tabletop space. Oh, yeah. And like you were saying, you know, for you to be able to work back here and then you yep. have your wife up front there. Absolutely. Uh, you have your light controls right back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you also have your uh, your 110 receptacles and then you also have your 12 volt uh, charging ports as well. Okay. And every outlet uh, runs on the inverter in this, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, every outlet runs on the inverter. Cool. And then for your emergency exit. Yeah. took me forever to find this moment for your fresh water yeah uh, like a uh, drain valve it's right down here oh wow that's to drain the tank and uh we had water you know pouring out of the uh bottom of the coach and i couldn't figure out where it was coming from okay so i was looking everywhere <laughs> trying to find you know like that low point drain or a valve or something and couldn't find it oh yeah all the windows are the turn yeah out, except for that emergency exit okay i think maybe Oh, you get to the CO2 detector right down there. Okay. Uh, can you show me how to swivel the, the yeah. driver's seat there? I know in the previous year chassis they weren't able to actually swivel the driver, just the passenger. Then you just got your front there that uh you got that big old screen right in the middle yep uh, it does all kinds of crazy stuff yeah i'm excited to check that out and all the oh, yeah, features yeah, like you said, yeah you're the, the, the I'm, I'm the tech guy so he's the tech guy yeah thank you guys very much for watching i do hope that video was valuable to you if you want to see more videos like this again throw it in the comments below what you want to see feel free to subscribe to the channel and that way once i post any more content You'll be notified by it, especially if you click that little notification bell. And uh, you want to give it a thumbs up, that helps as well. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed.